Happy New Year viewers and welcome to the new installment of the Straight Beer News. Uh, this is the first installment for the year of 2017. I did take some time off in December, so I hope you're not too far behind on your, sh on your beer news. Uh, you know, just around the holidays things are a little chaotic and I didn't have time to do the videos like I wanted to. So uh, I do apologize, I hope you'll forgive me, but let's start fresh for 2017, shall we? In the news this week, we have news from an Australian former Prime Minister, Pussy Riot, plus Mick Hiller is there whenever you need somebody. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and this is the Straight Beer News for the week ending January 8th, 2017. So Bob Hawke made news this week. Uh, he is the former Prime Minister of Australia. He served as Prime Minister from 1983 through 1991, and uh, he's currently 87 years old. Uh, this week he was found at the Sydney Cricket Grounds. Um, before we get to that though, what I found out this week doing a little bit of research, uh, and this is maybe not news to some of my Australian viewers, uh, if you're viewing from down under, maybe view this not as news, but as a TIL, as in today I learned. So I didn't know Bob Hawk. I wasn't familiar with him or his name, uh, but in looking up for the, for the news story today, uh, it turns out that he was a world champion or world record holder beer chugger in his past. Uh, he was able to down a full yard of beer in a matter of 11 seconds as a young man, um, apparently during university days. He has this prowess, this great talent for chugging beer that apparently strikes well with, uh, with the citizens there. So this week there was a tournament on the Sydney Cricket Grounds and he was making an appearance. And it's maybe becoming a tradition that uh, every couple of years uh, during these tournaments, he's there and the fans, you know, ask him to chug a beer. And this year was no different. If we go to the video, there's a short clip of him. Uh, you know, he's, he's saluting the fans and, and, the, and the teams are interested in watching him. And there he is on the, on the big board. He takes a big chug, shows the empty glass to the fans, and then the team and the fans applaud. They go crazy about it. So they, they really love Bob and they... Uh, think highly, I guess, or at least think it's a great show that he puts on with his beer chugging prowess. And I, w I couldn't help but think, you know, if this would be an acceptable behavior for an American president. You know, some, in America we have this idea of uh, a president has to be presidential or he has to present himself a certain way. So I was wondering, would this be acceptable for an American president? Or if so, maybe the better question is, who would you compare this to? What president could you see uh, just chugging beers and maybe put up a challenge to uh, to Bob Hawk? So, give me your thoughts in the in the comments below. Uh, whether you think it's something that you would expect an American president to do, or maybe give me what you think um, a comparable president to Bob Hawk would be. Next up, there is a group of women brewers who are um, doing a collaboration brew together as a way to protest the Trump inauguration. The women brewers are from the Denver area, and they're not just all brewers, some of them are in the, in the craft beer community. These women uh, came together, they started off uh, very grassroots with a little Facebook post, and then that grew into a Facebook page, and then that kind of, uh, the, the women got involved and started brainstorming some ideas together and came up with a beer that they wanted to collaborate on. The beer is called Making Noise, a Pussy Riot beer. The reason for the name Pussy Riot, well, it has a, a couple of connotations. It has innuendo to a, a couple of reasons. So, uh, first off is the uh, Pussy Riot um, group from Russia. So, they are a feminist, activist, punk rock uh, group. And so, from, from that angle, I could see these, uh, these uh, brewers, these women brewers, wanted to be associated with, uh, since they're becoming activists and speaking out themselves. They wanted to, to kind of see themselves in that light. But on the other hand, it has a connotation with the, the now infamous quote from Donald Trump, which was played over and over uh, during the election time, of where he, would, where he was quoted as saying he would go up and just grab a woman in the pussy. And so it kind of has this, this dual double entendre to the name. So in interviews, the women have said that they wanted to do this as a way to show uh, unity or to show solidarity to some outcast groups that have been maybe disparaged in the media through Donald Trump. So, f for example, the LGBT community or uh, immigrants 
or the religious minorities. They wanted to make this as a way to show their unity and, and their support for them. Uh, I, I'm very interested in, in trying some of these. I, I wish it were closer. I wish maybe I could uh, do an exchange with somebody in, in Colorado that could gain access to some of this. Uh, it sounds great. There's going to be different variations. There are five breweries, as I mentioned, that are involved, and each one is going to have their own spin on it. It's going to be an Imperial Saison, and so some of them are going to have maybe strawberries, uh, one's going to have lavender, one is going to contain peppercorn. They're all, each brewery is going to put their own little spin on the same base style. And the beers not only are going to, apparently, they, they, they sound like they taste delicious, uh, but a portion of the proceeds will be um, spent to go towards uh, different various charities. So it's going to be called Making Noise, a Pussy Riot Beer. And that is due to come out in, uh, I, I believe, for Inauguration Day, so January 20th. So coming up here in a couple of weeks. Now fortunately for my last story, this news broke um, early in the week so that I could give a few days to, to vet it and find out if it's really uh, a legitimate story. Uh, it could turn out to still be fake. Uh, in the case that it is fake, we're all being Rick rolled together. That's right. This story involves Rick Astley. This is the uh, popular 80s R&B pop singer uh, who's famous for in the last you know, decade for his uh, Rick rolled videos. You know where you trick somebody, where you say click this. Click this link to see XYZ webpage, and it turns up to be a Rick Astley video on YouTube. Um, hence the, the name Rick Roll is this little joke that happened. Well, anyway, unbeknownst to me, but he is a very avid beer drinker. He loves himself some craft beer, and in fact, he has mentioned uh, in interviews recently that he wants to have his own beer brand, or that's something that he would aspire to. So. Maybe it's not just a one-time thing, this collaboration with Mick Keller, which is the uh, Copenhagen, Denmark uh, beer or brewer, that maybe this isn't just a one-time thing, but if he does want his own brand, he can maybe work it out with them and maybe they could be uh, together forever. Now apparently this uh, beer that they're collaborating on is a fruity Pilsner lager. Uh, in interviews about it, uh, Rick Astley has mentioned that he's tasted various samples from them. They've shipped him certain samples to taste and give his feedback, and he's had some that have even included pear. So there's some exotic brews that um, we're maybe looking for for this uh, Astley collaboration. Now, there is no date um, that was published, and indeed there's not even a name that's been put out yet. Although there has been a lot of speculation online, as you can imagine, in, in forums and in social media, everyone adding their own um, comments on what they think the name should be. And as you might think, uh, the most popular one was Never Gonna Give You Hops. Because of the little wordplay on the name, it doesn't sound like a great beer to me with no hops. Um, doesn't sound like a really a beer at all, but uh, because of the little wordplay with one of his uh, most famous songs, it sounds like a cute title, I just don't know that it would really work. Um, if you have any ideas, maybe go through his discography and see if there's anything that you could put a beer, beer spin on. I'd be interested to see what you come up with. Well, that is going to do it for me this week, guys. Um, thanks again for watching. I will do this every week. I've committed this year to do this every week, so come back and catch up on your beer news with me. I enjoy doing this. Um, give me a like if you like my videos. Or, of course, you can always subscribe. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care.